Okay, so in this video we're going to actually make the missiles collide with each other so we can shoot, well, not really the missiles colliding, but the actual explosion. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make it so the player missiles, when you launch them and they explode, if an enemy missile hits that explosion, then it will explode as well. So let's go back to Unity. Uh, first thing I'm going to do before we do that, uh, enemy missiles are moving way too fast, so gonna step that down maybe try to let's see how this looks uh, it's still actually pretty fast you know what? Uh, let's try one this should be good enough for testing it still might actually even be a bit too fast you know what? we'll we'll slow it down even a bit more just for for the sake of doing the build and then later when we play test we can do all the, the tweaking and the settings. Okay, so yeah, for for testing here this this will work. So we'll go this. Okay, so let's go to our enemy missile and in our script. I'm thinking what we'll probably do if we go back to Unity, I'm gonna make an actual explosions tag. And then if we take the explosion added on here in the script, uh, we don't really want to, I was thinking we could add it in here for both, but then we're going to have to uh, do things later in the future. So like if it explodes and takes out a city, we're going to want to pass that into the, the city script. So it knows basically to, to change some stats when it gets destroyed. Um, so, you know, I'm going to do it separate. We'll do else if call.tag equals explosions. And we're going to need the same code in here. So I'm just going to actually make a separate method. We'll call this uh, I don't know, missile exploded. This will explode. Sure, we'll go with that. I'll just have a quick comment. Uh, spawns explosion and destroys missile. There. Okay, so we can take this out and we can just do missile explode. What's going on here? Oh, I forgot to put the return type. That would do it. Okay, so we'll do missile explode. Copy that in here. And for right now, that should be all we actually need in here. Uh, and then later we can add extra code in here and uh, tell it what to do when that happens. So let's go back to Unity. Okay, so this is the enemy. Yeah, so if we do it this way, we don't even have to worry about anything on the the player missile. Uh, why is it giving me this error? Oh. Yeah. That line we still have to put in there. So that this is the one that will destroy what hits this so the the actual explosion itself which we might not even need we'll see when it runs um, and we need to put a collider on our explosion would help make it a little bit smaller yeah that looks pretty good there now the one thing I'm not 
positive on, but we have to see. I'm not sure how that animation is going to handle the collider. We may have to make an animation that changes the collider radius as well. Oh no, no, it looks like it's working. Okay, so we probably just have to make it a trigger then. Okay, so let's go here, make it a trigger, and let's try it out and it should work. Okay, well that's a start. And then when we add this in different later, we'll have tr uh, kind of a trail going between behind the missile. Um, it's only going to destroy the missile if it hits the the top, like the the head of the missile itself. So when we have the trails going on, if if you set it and it kind of comes up behind and it hits the trail, it's not going to actually destroy it. So you have to hit the missile. And this looks like it should be good. Later we'll probably add a different... So they have two different explosion effects, so it at least adds some difference to it. But uh, for now, that should be good for this video, and we'll keep going.